Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about plant burrs and velcro. So plant burrs and velcros are actually again the by inspired structures what we are seeing which are coming from the plant burrs. The structures what we can see in the plant burrs of uh, velcro like for example maybe it may be in zip okay or it may be in um, what do you say a normal a purse okay anywhere you can see one one uh, side of the structure will be a little bit smooth another structure will be a little bit hard and when you zip up so we can have that particular bonding okay and it will it will be not so as easy to remove it so again you have to apply a little bit pressure so this is again copied by this particular <coughs> this thing now plant birds okay so for example zip or even in shoes wherever you uh, use uh, the particular uh, the well bracket and even in uh, most of them you will be using in your your uh, sandals or chapels so where uh, uh, you need to remove the, this particular thing and just uh, with, uh, based on your uh, the feet size and all like that. So these are some of the examples where, where which was copied by the Velcro method <coughs> where from the plant birds. So plant birds such as those found in the bird call, bird dog, uh, inspired an in invention of Velcro. So this is what inspired scientists to invent the Velcro. So the popular hook and loop fastening fastening system, which is why we are using it as you know like hook and loop uh, applications. So this is some of the uh, structures you can see. Uh, this is a globular flower heads of the burdock, and the second uh, image is indicating the hook shape of it. Okay, like this hook shape. The next. The birds have small hooks that can latch on to the clothing. Okay, so they can latch on to the clothing. You know, these particular birds, they have a small hooks kind of structure. So they, can you see these hooks kind of structure here? Okay, and down. So they can latch on. Latch on in the sense they can attach to the uh, clothing or fur or feathers. So allowing them to disperse their seeds over the wider range area. So that was a natural phenomena. So in this image you can see the hook and loop normal view of the velcro. We are, we are having the loop and hook. So the loop will have a, a softy kind of structure where the hook will be a little bit uh, hard compared to the loop. So that uh, when they come into contact so they can they will have a bonding. If you go and see the microscopic view of hooks and loops, this is how it looks. So this is a hook and this is the loop. So hooks, can you see? This is a like a hook they will uh, you can visualize. Velcro was invented by the Swiss engineer that is George D. Mestre in 1941. So after he became fascinated by the uh, way the birds clung to his clothes and his dogs for during the walk. When they were going for walk, so this particular uh, birds, the plant birds was stuck on, you know, attached to the, his clothes and his dog's fur. So he was fascinated, he, he wanted to know why it, uh, why these particular things are attached to the, my dog's fur or my clothes. So he, he studied about it. So he examined the birds under the microscope and he found that they had a small hooks that could latch onto the loops in fabric. Okay, that's what we saw in the previous slide. Similarly. So, D. Maxwell spent years experimenting with these different materials before finally developing a velcro. So, which consists of the two strips of the nylon fabric, one with the tiny hooks and another with the small loops. So, that we know when the daily, daily basis we use. So, then when, uh, when pressed together, what happens? Uh, obviously, it will, uh, the hooks, uh, whatever is there, that will latch onto the loops. So, they will collect together and creating a strong bond that can be easily detached by pulling the two strip apart. You can just pull it like this. So, Velcro has a wide range of applications including clothing, shoes, bags and medical devices. Clothing, understood, okay, most of the clothing comes with the Velcro effect. 
and also as whatever the zip whatever we are uh, having nowadays is also are uh, inspired by this particular this thing because hope can look again so next shoes obviously next bags definitely all of you are using and then medical devices now there is a question of medical devices where so medical devices i guess all of you at least once in a uh, your life you yeah, might have gone for a bp checkup right so what they will put here so that is what again that is also that particular uh, uh, thing what they put that is also contains both hooks and loops okay so that's why they will close it and they will tighten it your wrist and then they will check for bp right so that uh, they uh, there you can see this particular velcro attack in medical devices not only this but there are a lot of applications in medical devices where uh, velcro finds and applications even in normal uh, uh, for example if any uh, Uh, medicine need to be kept aside uh, or uh, should be uh, sterilized under the uh, you know it should be kept sterilized so what they do they, they will put inside a small uh, plastic uh, uh, which uh, or cover which will have this velcro so that they will insert and then they will uh, they will just uh, close it and they will keep it aside whenever they want they will they will take it up and they use the like that there are many applications on the medical devices so it has become a popular alternative to traditional fasteners okay as such as buttons zippers due to its ease of use and versatility now the name velcro from where it is coming so or what is its mean uh, what does it mean so uh, let's see the name velcro is actually a combination of words velvet and crochet so here velvet as a fabric strips resembles velvet uh and uh, hook together like a crochet so that's why uh, like uh, it is named as velcro so engineering application clothing footwear uh, all of you know the footwear we all use uh, the uh, sandals or chappals what we use and uh, we just uh, use to adjust our feet and all so like we commonly use in clothing and footwear for the closures and adjustable straps and it can be easily opened and closed making it convenient for users with limited <coughs> dexterity or mobility next we are having medical devices medical is used for the medical devices such as braces slings and even compression garments for its adjustable and secure fastening capabilities and next aerospace equipments velcro is widely used in aerospace equipments for example satellites and space cards to secure components in place and prevent them from the vibrating or shifting during the launch or flight next automotive industry so velcro is used in automotive industry for a range of applications if you are using a, a normal car you will be knowing or even bikes also including the slender bike will be having that uh, uh, kind of cover on the uh, petrol tank right so which will have this uh, again velcro effect which we can keep something and close that bag and other kind of stuff so that and then the uh, package industry the packaging industry velcro is again so it is well uh, widely used for packaging so that uh, it can be used for the pouches bags like for closure and other types of the packaging applications and then sports equipment sports is also it, it finds a very uh, uh, important applications the helmets what we use the gloves and for its ability to provide a secure and adjustable fit so that was about uh, the uh, plant pores and the velcro effect so uh, the next topic shark skin we will discuss in the next class